What we're aiming to do in the IGC Energy Group is to tack and find solutions to the global energy challenge. The global energy challenge really is like a stool that has three legs. The first leg is how do you get access, how do you get people access to inexpensive and reliable sources of energy? That's so critical for human well-being. We just do not have any historical example of countries achieving high levels of living standards without the levels of energy consumption that are rival those we see in today's developed countries. The second leg of that stool is, in many instances, the least expensive source of energy are fossil fuels, and those fossil fuels, their use are associated with the release of all kinds of air pollutants, and those air pollutants cause health problems, they cause people to lead shorter and sicker lives. If India complied with its own environmental regulations for airborne particulate matter, the average life expectancy for the 650 million people who live in areas that currently exceed the standards uh, would go up by about three years. The third leg of the stool is kind of the existential threat, if you will, of climate change. And so the same fossil fuels that cause air pollution that harm people's health are also leading to the high probability of disruptive climate change. Part of what makes the Global Energy Challenge so challenging is that it's very hard to find interventions that are beneficial on all three legs of the stool at once. So we have lots of work that's focused on increasing access uh, to energy and that ranges from households of solar lamps all the way up to how do you more efficiently run uh, power distribution companies and make them more fiscally sustainable so that they can increase supply and people can start businesses and children can study at night and get all the benefits that uh, access to energy offers. There's really an incredible opportunity uh, to take advantage of the unprecedented declines in the cost of renewables. Uh, and that is allowing places that are remote and not very close to uh, the grid to get access to energy that what, at prices that just weren't feasible uh, in the past. I think we're in the golden era of research and policy. Uh, for the first time, I believe, in human history, we actually have the tools that can help to lead to what I like to call evidence-based policymaking as opposed to the standard approach, which is policy-based evidence making. We can find out what works and what doesn't work. And by collaborating with policymakers right from the start, there is an opportunity to improve policy, and not just for its own sake, but because that can change the lives of the hundreds of millions and really billions of people who are desperate for increased energy consumption without facing severe health problems from uh, the environmental consequences.